all and welcome to the second episode of the prep talk a video series in which i answer frequently asked questions about cat preparation and try to help cat aspirants through their journey the question i am going to answer today is a question that i have been asked at least 100 times in the past few days sir i have just begun my preparation for cat am i late my answer to this question is going to be two part first psychological second statistical let's say you are late guys i'm not saying you are in fact you are not late at all yet but let's assume you are then what i want you to think beyond it would you not prepare this year would you not write the cat we still have four months four long months to cat do you want to waste these four months without giving it a shot and then waste one more year waiting for your turn next year if that is something you can afford to do then well and good drop the plan but if dropping the plan is not an option then asking this question is useless because you anyway have to write the cat all this question does is create a doubt in your mind you enter a negative feedback loop you keep dilly dallying your preparation you might want to get down to serious study self preparation or you might want to join a course but you don't do that because you're thinking whether i've got a late for preparation etc you keep dilly dallying and even though you are not late yet because of this delay you will definitely be late don't do that avoid negative communication with the self at all times that's important also it is counterproductive this doubt is counterproductive to preparation if you start preparation with this doubt if generally you can work at 1x speed 1x productivity 1x motivation 1x sincerity with this doubt in mind you will only work with 0.5x of everything 0.5x motivation to study 0.5x speed 0.5x sincerity your productivity also reduces therefore effectively speaking thinking about being late does more damage than actually being late does avoid doing that guys that's the psychological answer to this question second the statistical answer guys i've been teaching for the past 14 years now more than 14 now every year i see students at least half at least half the aspirants starting their preparation in june july august in these months june july august now is there a selection bias between early starters and late starters i am not sure there is any but even if there is i am 100% sure that if 70% selections come from early starters those who started their preparation in january february maybe at least 30% also comes from the late starters june july august then what is this fuss all about therefore guys if uh, you know if dropping this year and writing the next year is not a choice is not an option if wasting one year is not an option you better get down to serious studies and do some hard work start working hard already one important thing that i would like to point out here one last part that i want to address is this there is one crucial difference and only one between early starters and the late starters they had time to waste trying to figure out the process syllabus process how to approach a particular question type what are the concepts uh, etc you don't have that luxury anymore because if you spend one or two months wasting trying to figure out how to do what is the best exam taking strategy etc then probably it is you will be late then then it will be counterproductive therefore two things number one don't waste time on gimmicky videos those who are starting their preparation now are desperate and they are most vulnerable vulnerable to the kind of click baity videos how to get 99 percentile in 90 days or 120 day preparation plan for cat guys there is only one preparation plan sincere study practice hard work that's it don't waste time on these videos it is counterproductive i'm telling you this is counterproductive therefore that's first thing don't fall for gimmicky coaching institutes second and very important seek professional guidance 
it is advisable if on your own you learn 1x under an able mentor who helps you save those crucial hours that you might waste trying to figure out the process on your own you can save you can learn 10x therefore try to seek some professional guidance study under some under the tutelage of a mentor who can guide you better and maybe help you learn more but all said rest assured you are not late at all at least yet so stop worrying about it and start preparing with all motivation and sincerity that you have that you have at your command all the best until next time bye bye see you ciao